Models that Frank showed us reveal that this storm may linger in the area, dropping a torrential amount of rain. Now, this is a reminder of Tropical Storm Allison, the storm that devastated Texas in June of 2001. The storm flooded out underground tunnels at the Texas Medical Center downtown. Lots of records were lost back then. Channel 2's Phil Archer is joining us live with a look at the changes that have been made at the medical center since then and how they are now preparing for Harvey. Phil? Yeah, we all remember Allison. It produced so much rain so quickly, it overwhelmed Harris Gully there, which drains the medical center and sent flood water into the hospitals. Since then, there have been millions, tens of millions of dollars worth of improvements done to try to ensure that doesn't happen again. Allison caused $2 billion in damage at the medical center. At Memorial Hermann Hospital alone, flood water filled the basements, knocked out generators, and forced the evacuation of over 500 patients. We had to shut the entire institution down, the campus, and we were out for seven weeks. Over the next few years, Memorial Hermann and other hospitals rebuilt. At Hermann, generators are now four stories above ground, and they're tested monthly. Huge watertight doors are in place in the basements with staff members now trained to operate hospitals like self-sufficient islands if the high water comes again. Houston and the health care system in Houston are much better prepared today because of Allison. There have also been improvements to existing flood channels like Harris Gully and Braves Bio to detain and carry more water. A warning system designed by Rice Professor Philip Bedient monitors weather and rain conditions hourly. Dr. Bedient says the improvements don't completely alleviate the threat of flooding, but it's a vast improvement over the system that existed in 2001. Medical center should be in pretty good good shape, uh, assuming that it doesn't exceed up beyond a 500 year type, type flood, which is again the 16 inches of rain in, in a day. And medical center managers are watching the weather closely now. When the rain comes, if the water level here at the gully reaches 10 feet, that will trigger the emergency managers, man, excuse me, emergency measures. Those watertight doors will close and the medical center will batten down for whatever comes. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Phil. Channel 2 is your hurricane headquarters. You can track the tropical system and the weather right down to your neighborhood any time of the day with our Hurricane Tracker app. You can download it for free by searching KPRC in your app store.